Hello everyone and welcome to my garden. Yes, this is my beautiful garden and angels live here. And um, actually they live with you too. And I just wanted to talk a little bit today about um, how everybody has angels and how they work with everyone, uh, whether you know they're working with you or not. And the great thing is once you welcome them into your life and acknowledge them and consciously talk to them, you're opening your life up to a whole new um, world, really, um, of getting so much more help and so much more guidance and feeling so much more love and, and opening your heart to so much more because the angels are pure energy of love, of unconditional love, and they accept you any way you are, really, and they're willing to help you with anything. You just have to ask. Remember that everybody has their own free will, so not even angels can do anything for you unless you give them permission. And so that would mean you just have to ask, ask for their help. So I'm just gonna give you some basic angels 101 information here. Um, how do you know angels are with you? Well, I'll tell you that angels are always with you. But, um, you can also sense them if you just feel a rush of warmth coming in or maybe you're saying something and you start feeling chills all over your body. That's a huge sign of validation that the angels want you to know that um, what you're saying and feeling is correct and um, to keep going with that and they're, they're giving you their, their nudging by letting you know that. A lot of people get those angel chills. Sometimes you might see glittery white lights or glittery colored lights, like almost like confetti around you. And that, those are also angels. Um, they also would come in a, in a way of um, smell. You might smell a mystical scent. Um, or just synchronicities start happening. You mention something and all of a sudden it happens. Or, um, you know, you think of somebody and they show up. Just things like that are really signs that either you're picking up on it intuitively yourself, which everybody has that talent, or the angels are working with you and showing you and giving you signs. So um, you can call on the angels for really anything. If you wish to have better health, um, more money, a career, um, soulmate, any issue that you might be having, you can work with the angels to help you. So there are um, your guardian angels, which everybody has guardian angels, and some people say you have two. And I, I just, in my experience, I've noticed people have different amounts. Some people have one, some people have two, three. And then be, beyond that, you usually have some archangels working with you and some regular angels. So guardian angels are typically the angels that you're born with and they've been with you for your whole life and they'll stay with you till the end. And the other angels come in and out as, as you need help. So let's talk about the archangels. Um, they're archangels and those are the ones that you typically see depicted with um, wings. And um, they are like the managers of the regular angels, they oversee them. But they also have some specific jobs of their own. Um, you've probably heard about Archangel Michael, and he is the protection angel. And he also, to me, is the angel that helps you step into your power and um, gives you courage to move forward and know that you're always protected and always being watched over by the angels. And so he's a really great angel to work with. And actually, he helps me with everything from my business to my relationships to anything that I might need help with so um, even though he is specific to some things he will help you with anything if you need an angel that'll help you with um, health call on Archangel Raphael Archangel Raphael is a healing angel and he's wonderful at, at helping you to heal issues emotions or he's an, even physical illness um, for manifesting, for bringing the things in your life that you really desire, um, work with Archangel Raziel. He is such a magical wizard angel, and he also works with ancient sacred geometry. So, um, a lot of magic behind Archangel Raziel, 
and um, Archangel Metatron really likes to help with children, but also he helps with standing in your power. I've had a lot of experiences with him. There's so many Archangels that you can work with. These are just a few. Oh, let me mention Archangel Gabriel before I move on with that. Archangel Gabriel is the angel um, in charge of helping you speak clearly, communicate. And also with anything in the arts, like if you're into anything artistic, dance, art, um, photography, writing a book, anything like that. But also whenever I need help in talking to somebody and I know it'll be difficult, I call on Archangel Gabriel to speak through me and help me with that conversation and it really helps. So anyway, um, the Archangels will help you even if you don't call on them and um, they're always available and they can be with everybody at the same time so don't ever feel like you're taking away from somebody else um, to work with them and you can also send angels to other people to help them of course you can't determine um, or or tell them what to do with that person but they you can definitely send them to people to help them for as much help as those people are ready to receive okay um, if you are ever wanting anything in your life, like I mentioned, all you have to do is ask the angels. And some people ask me how to ask them. And you can do it in any way that you feel comfortable. You can say it out loud like I'm talking right now. Or you can write it down in your journal. Or you can say it in your head. But I notice when I say things out loud and I'm really affirming it and meaning it like angels help me now on whatever it is it comes through a lot faster for some reason. Also writing it down seems to make it, um, a, uh, your manifestations come much faster, in my opinion. It's like you're writing it down and, um, and it just makes it more concrete. So let me just talk about a little bit about um, manifesting with the angels. Anything that you want to bring into your life, I'll make it really, I'll give you an easy way to do it. Um, write in a notebook or a journal or a piece of paper what it is that you wish to bring into your life. And then be as detailed as possible. Okay, so I'll use the example of a house. So say you would like to manifest a house. So tell the angels exactly what kind of house you're looking for. What area, what size, how many bedrooms, bathrooms, um, how you'd like it to look outside. Um, whatever the details are, be very specific and then stick to it. If you decide you want to change things as you go along, go ahead, you can cross things out and update them or add things on, that's fine. But remember, every time you're changing things, it kind of adjusts the energy and, and kind of has to keep um, adjusting with those changes. So adjusting things like bedroom, how many bedrooms or the location, well, the location might, you probably have to start all over again with manifesting, but um, you know, little adjustments are really no big deal. But um, just don't um, do what I did at one time. Look for a house and then get frustrated and say, well, you know, maybe I'll just get a condo. And then I started manifesting a condo. So now I'm manifesting this condo but, and I'm looking for it for, you know, a few months and then realize, you know what, I really didn't want a condo. I really want a house. So then I start manifesting the house again. So bouncing back and forth between the house and the condo made me start over several times. So that is something you really want to stay away from. Um, I, I learned that lesson the hard way. But also, whatever you do, list out everything and at the end, always make sure to put this or better because you will always get better. If you don't say this or better, it's really hard for the angels to exactly pinpoint exactly what you're looking for. Well, they can do it, but it may take a little bit longer. But if you say this or better, then you will probably get it sooner and you'll get it get better. We always tend to limit ourselves, so that's just a really good way to opening up to receiving something better than what you asked for. Don't mind those little pops in the background. It is almost 4th of July, and in my neighborhood, they seem to enjoy fireworks, even though you're not supposed to be using them. So um, that should be ending soon, hopefully. Anyway, so that's how you want to manifest. So if it's a career, you might want to say uh, you 
want a career doing this kind of work. Maybe not exact job description, job title, but describing the kind of work you want to do and how many days a week you want to work and what the hours are that you want to make and what you what kind of money you want to make and what kind of benefits you'd like. And then at the end, put this or better so you can get delivered better. Once you do that, give it to the angels to handle. And that's the tricky part is giving it up and trusting that they heard you and allowing them to do their work. And while they are creating, help, helping create this for you, you're probably going to um, see synchronicities happen and get little tips or steps that you need to do to participate in the manifestation. But you will know. Just ask the angels to, sh to give you signs that you won't miss so you can participate in the manifesting process and help it along. If you're asking and begging, please bring this, please bring this, bring this, please bring this, that's a sign that you haven't let it go. And when you do that, you're actually blocking yourself from bringing that manifestation in. What it takes is complete trust and faith that it is already here for you. So you're visualizing of whatever you're manifesting and, um, and how it makes you feel is much more um, in your interest than worrying about it and continually asking for it to happen. So um, I like to give the example of, you know, if you go to a restaurant and you order um, a steak, you're not, every time your waitress walks by you after you order the steak, you're not gonna continually say, by the way, I'd like a steak, by the way, remember, I'd like a steak, hello, I'd like a steak. Right? You, in most cases, you're going to order and know that it'll be given to you at some point. So it's the same thing with the angels. They hear you the first time. You don't have to keep saying it over and over again. But a good thing to do, at least once a day, is to review your list and then visualize how wonderful it is. And think often about how wonderful it is to have that manifestation already in your life. Because the vibration that you hold is really what starts to bring that vibration to you. So say you do affirmations. I have a beautiful home that's um, perfect for me, whatever. That's fine to say affirmations and affirmations are great, but if your, body, if your mouth is saying that you have this, but your body is full of tenseness and, and, and you're hopeless or not believing it, that is actually helping to cancel your affirmation. So you have to be on board in, in all ways, body, mind, and spirit. So check in with your body when you're doing your affirmations and make sure there's no tenseness anywhere, especially like, well, anywhere. You don't, usually you'd probably feel it in your stomach or your heart. But if you feel any tenseness, make sure you breathe in and just blow it out and ask the angels to help you hold the vibration of your manifestation so you can believe it in total, body, mind, and spirit. If you ever feel any tenses, or mean, that, that means there's some resistance or some not believing that it could happen. So it's really important for you to get in alignment with that. Um, you'll get really good at this. I'll tell you, when people are beginners at this, I find that they manifest really easily. So if you're a beginner at this, give this a shot. I bet you you'll start seeing things fly into your life very quickly. Um, the angels are really wanting to show you that this is true and get you excited about it. So manifest away and, and enjoy it because I see people who start this process new um, manifest like crazy and it's, it's really amazing. Give it a go. What more, um, what, could, what do you have to lose? You have nothing to lose. And believe that everything's possible. Even if you, you don't know how it could be possible, it doesn't matter. Sometimes things just come. And, 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 you know, don't, don't set yourself up like if you're manifesting the house, don't say, um, and that I have a down payment of $10,000. Maybe it won't take a down payment. Maybe somebody's going to give you a house. You just never know how the universe works and how things are going to be delivered. And believe me, it will never come the way you think it's going to come. So keep that in mind. It never, ever comes the way you think it's going to come. It usually comes in the strangest way that you would have never imagined. So that will give you a little hint to not um, get your heart set on how it should happen um, and, and, and uh, when it's going to happen. What you want to do is just know that it is possible and it is happening already. So these are just a little few tips on angels and working with them 
and um, I just want to mention because um, just some other side notes on angels. Um, you can call the angels of parking, the parking angels, to help you find a parking space. So you can name them anything like that. The money angels, the job angels, the family harmony angels, the painting angels, um, the book writing angels, any kind of angels that you want to call on and they'll be there. And you can call as many angels as you want. That's just a little extra added um, help that you can have. But also just consciously connect with them and talk to them. Even if you feel like you don't hear them or you don't know if they're hearing you, believe me, they're hearing you. And um, they'll help you. So it just takes you asking and consciously connecting with them every day. Quiet, quieting your mind and having a conversation with them. So anyway, I just wanted to put up this short little video up on YouTube. As actually, I just wanted to test my equipment and give you some useful information while I do it. So it's kind of a little test. I hope it came out nice and I hope it was helpful for you. And if you ever um, want to know any more information on angels, you can go on my website, www.healingyoursoul.com. That's H-E-A-L-I-N-G-Y-O-U-R-S-O-U-L.com. And there's articles on my website it's on angels. And I have several other websites that you can find by looking on that website. That's my main website. And um, I would love to have you check out my stuff. I do a lot of wonderful classes um, um, in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area, but also I do a lot of spiritual journeys, like we're going to Egypt and Hawaii and Sedona, and we just do a lot of different things. So check out my website. You might actually find something that you like, and um, we always have so much fun. We have a great group of people that um, tend to go on these things. And I have built a wonderful spiritual community of loving, happy, fun people. So who knows, maybe you're part of our group one day. And um, if not, that's fine too. I just hope that you found some of this information useful. One thing I do know is that there are no coincidences. So if you stumbled upon this um, little video, it's probably for a reason. Your angels are talking to you. Anyway, I'm signing out. I'm Cindy Eiler. I hope you've enjoyed this little tape and um, looking forward to maybe connecting with some of you soon. Take care. Lots of love and lots of angels your way. Many blessings. Goodbye.